There's a saying that some of my colleagues and I have always used, and that is, in order to affect it, you have to select it. Now, what we're saying here is that when you make an adjustment of any kind in Elements Editor, you're going to affect everything globally. If you want to limit what gets affected to a localized area, you have to create a selection. There are many ways to create selections in the Elements Editor, so in this video I'd like to show you how to create a variety of selections and how they can benefit you in the long run. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make an adjustment to this image. So if I come up here in the Layers panel and I click on the Create New Filler Adjustment layer and I choose something like Hue Saturation, if I make a change now, you're going to see that I'm affecting everything in that image. So this is what we're talking about when we're saying everything's going to be global by default. Now I'm going to go ahead and click the Reset button. Go ahead and close that panel. I'm just going to select that layer and I'm going to hit the trash can to delete it. Now, how do we create a selection? Well, we could create some really basic selections by coming up here and grabbing the rectangular marquee tool. And this is pretty simple. If you just click and drag from one corner to the other, you're going to create a selection. Now, what that does is it isolates any adjustment to that area. So if I come up here and do the same thing I did before and choose hue saturation, any change I make is only going to affect that selected area. You can see I'm only adjusting that selected section there. Let's go ahead and reset that. Close that panel. I'm going to delete that layer again. Now, there are a number of ways we can create selections. If you keep this selected, we can also grab the elliptical marquee tool to create an oval or even a circle. To create a perfect shape, just hold down the shift key as you're dragging and then click anywhere to deselect it. With any of these selections active, you can also go to the select menu and you can save your selection for use later on. We can even feather it or refine it in a number of different ways. So if I choose feather and I apply a 20 pixel feather to this, if I go to the edit menu and choose fill selection and choose white, it's going to fill that area with that selection and you can see that the edge is now feathered. I'm going to go ahead and click the undo button and then just click anywhere to deselect. The lasso tool is a tool that a lot of people often reach for, but this is probably the least accurate of the selection tools. This requires you to just kind of click and drag in a manual way to create your selection. So it's really tough to be accurate with this. For more accurate selections, I like to use the quick selection tool. And what this allows me to do, it goes off of a brush tip, and if I click and drag within this yellow area, it starts to detect the edges of the flower. And that makes a more relevant selection for me because now if I come up here and choose hue saturation, any adjustments that I make are going to be applied to that isolated area. Now, inadvertently, because we're creating this adjustment with an active selection, what's happening is we're creating a layer mask. And we're going to talk about that in a future video. But I think what I'm trying to stress right now is that in order for you to do more detailed adjustments in the Elements Editor, you really need to create a selection, and that's going to allow you to push your adjustments to the next level. So when you want to isolate an adjustment to a specific area, it's really important that you know how to create a selection. There's several ways to make a selection, and there's no one tool that's always going to fit the bill. You have to experiment with the different selection tools to achieve the result that you're after.